hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing well and having a great day and as the title of this video suggests guys i have a living room update for you all and i'm sitting on it yes guys my sofa has finally arrived and i am so excited also because the original eta that i got for delivery was january so i was super disappointed that i wasn't going to have a sofa for christmas so when i got the confirmation the news that it would be delivered before christmas i was basically guys beside myself with excitement because i haven't had a sofa in so long and it has literally been the biggest missing piece in my living room in my interiors so actually having something to sit on just makes me so, so happy. I will mention that I'm filming this video in artificial light because it is so gloomy and so dark here in London. So I'm a little bit worried the color of the sofa may not be coming across because it's definitely not orange. So I will definitely insert images or video of the sofa in natural light so you can really get a sense of what it actually looks like. And of course, in this very video, guys, I'm gonna give you a tour of the sofa so you can see the style of it, the shape of it, the you know size that I went for, and just give you a general sense of how it fits into my interiors because if you have been watching my channel for a while, you will know that I really struggled to pick a sofa color. Pre-Reno, I was convinced that I would go for a gray sofa, a fabric sofa, but once I started really creating or curating my interiors, I just was drawn to warmer tones and warmer colors. I also have white walls and I didn't want my interiors to be too stark. So I wanted a color that of course would warm up my interiors as mentioned but would also complement my wood flooring, my antiques, and just add a lot more richness into my interiors. So I went for a completely different fabric, a completely different color, but I think it really works, guys. So without any further ado, I'm gonna give you a tour of the sofa, so let's do it. So guys, I thought I would start by showing you what the sofa actually looks like at the entrance of my living room. It is a dreary gray day in London, so not much natural light, but I'm going to have to work with what I've got. Just as an FYI, I am wearing trainers in the house only because these are box fresh, completely new. I was just trying them on. My personal preference is to have a no shoe policy, so I don't wear shoes in the house. Um, but just wanted to let you know that these are definitely box fresh. So as mentioned previously, I really wanted a warmer tone sofa that would complement my furniture pieces. So my royal chair in the middle of the mirror there from Skagerrak, which I absolutely adore. The shape of it, the style of it, I just think it's a timeless um, piece that I'm going to love for many years to come and then of course my antique chaise lounge that you can see on the right hand side there I am still also very much obsessed with and I think whilst they are very different pieces like all three of them they complement each other in such interesting ways and again really contribute to that rich interiors that I'm really trying to create and of course my oak flooring is also another aspect that I think really allows you know the sofa to shine and you know fit beautifully in this space so I'm going to show you the sofa from the front so basically I'm a big fan of furniture on legs mainly because I feel that furniture on legs contributes to my very 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 much loved open airy feeling I'm not personally a fan of big bulky furniture um, and therefore I've gone for a sofa that is as I said on legs but also very Scandinavian inspired ironically the sofa is actually made in Italy so this sofa is from Heels if I haven't mentioned it already and it is their Matiera sofa and the Matiera sofa is kind of like their iconic sofa that comes in lots of different sizes so it comes in a armchair it comes in a two-seater three-seater and I went for the four-seater I think they also have a footstool so there are so many options in terms of sizes there are also so many options in terms of the types of fabrics that you go for so clearly I've gone for a leather fabric and the leather that I went for is called I think Dano or Dino leather and the color of the sofa that I've gone for is called treacle so Dano leather and, and the color treacle but if you're not into leather they have so many different fabric options I mean the options are just really vast which is why I think you know it's 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 great um, if you're looking for something uh, that is similar but not necessarily exactly the same color or um, uh, material so as mentioned it is 
positioned on these beautiful aluminium legs which I think again create that kind of open airy feeling I went for a four seater so it is a very roomy sofa and you can definitely fit four people on it comfortably the one massive con with the sofa though guys is that it is a very susceptible to grease stains and I've already had a couple of you know issues with grease marks and therefore you have to kind of wipe them quite gently with um, like a damp cloth uh, so what I'm actually in the process of doing is just buying um, products that will help me care for the leather and kind of seal it so it's not so susceptible to grease marks. So if you do have like pets and um, young children, I'm not sure this is going to be the right fabric for you. There are obviously more durable leathers that you can go for, but I actually really like the Dano leather. And one thing that really sold this particular sofa to me when I spoke to the people at Heels is that it genuinely gets better with age the older the sofa is the more used the sofa is it actually looks better and I was a little bit skeptical until I actually saw the sofa physically in store and I'm going to include a picture of um, the sofa in the heel store so you can actually see what I mean so it's the kind of sofa that, sofa that is designed to almost like acquire a vintage feel and again the more you use it the more beautiful it actually becomes and I really do believe that and again I'm going to insert some videos and clips here that you can you can see so it's supposed to kind of you know um, have scratches over time and again all of that adds to its beauty so it so for me it it really kind of um, made me feel uh, that it was the right sofa because yeah I want my pieces to not age terribly and to be you know um, pieces that really stand the test of time so that is something that I think is really great about this particular sofa so again quite susceptible to grease marks and I've actually <laughs> cleaned one of the grease marks in the middle of the sofa there which you might be able to see so again something to take into consideration so if I swing around you can see the shape of the sofa from this angle so again very Scandi inspired very slim line um, as you can see the other thing that I will definitely mention also is that I still have a lot of floor space in this particular part of my living room. If you've been watching my content, you will know that I am very, 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 very much an advocate of not having too much furniture, um, particularly if you've got a narrow um, living room like I do. So I still have a lot of floor space that probably isn't coming across on camera in, in, in real life. I definitely, uh, the space definitely feels a lot bigger. So. The sofa is quite deep, comfortably deep, but still means that there's a, you know, enough room to have a footstool, to have um, a coffee table, which I'm currently on the hunt for. So again, I really love how it hasn't become too dominant in the space and, you know, uh, allows me to really kind of bring other pieces that are going to really bring it bring this living room to life and complement it even more. So whilst I'm giving you guys the sofa tour, I thought I would also show you my decorated Christmas tree, which I think just fits into that space really, really beautifully. The baubles also really complement the sofa, but I wanna give credit to one of you lovely subscribers that basically um, left a comment to say that you actually preferred the baubles that I had last year, which are these beautiful kind of taupey, um, marbly um, uh, ones that you can see here. I'm trying to get this camera to actually focus so you can see them. Um, basically, because of your comment, I actually thought, do you know what? Let me just have a bit of a play and see what they look like with the new sparkly ones that I've got at the bottom there. And I really, really like them together and I never would have considered putting these two baubles together had you not actually mentioned that you preferred um the um the marble-esque ones um so thank you for that because i think my tree is now really really giving me just christmassy festive vibes i have again these beautiful baubles from selfridges i have um lots of really pretty snowflakes from Villaroy and Botch and I just think the tree is has come together quite well if I, if I do say so myself so thank you for that but yes this is basically my Christmas tree in the space um, and how it sits with my sofa so yes guys as mentioned lots of space in front of the sofa to fill with 
either an ottoman, a footstool, and I'm looking for a beautiful coffee table. And that's basically, mm, okay, I lied. The other thing that I'm looking for also is to have additional seating. So I wanna have like three beautiful like armchairs to complement the sofa. And they're probably gonna go where the Christmas tree currently is. So in the bay window nooks there. So I'm on the hunt for like really lovely, comfortable, but like Scandi inspired armchairs again to complement my, um, my sofas and just provide a lot more seating space. So guys, in summary, I am so blooming happy that my sofa is finally here and I can actually enjoy plonking my behind on it, watching TV and just getting really cozy. The other thing that I will mention is that I am gonna do a living room update because I do recognize that I haven't really given you guys like a 360 view of the living room and I think it's really starting to come together guys and I'm loving it. So I will definitely be doing I will definitely be doing a living room update with kind of all the decor pieces and furniture pieces um, very, very soon. So do stay tuned for that. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.